Bismillah, wa salat, wa salam, wa ala rasulillah, wa ala alihi, wa sahbihi, wa man wala. A heart co-opted. To associate partners or equals with the divine, shirk, is the antithesis of divine unicity, tawheed. This association is the sin of all sins, the ultimate criminality. It is the unforgivable sin in the sight of the divine. It is unforgivable because it is the pinnacle of ingratitude, a denial of the source of your existence and every virtue and grace. Moreover, it is a pronouncement to the cosmos and every existent thing that their existence is vain, purposeless and useless. Ostentation or show off, riya, is termed by the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as the minor association, a shirk al asghar. Ostentation, riya, is forgivable, but it is included within the rubric of divine rejection to indicate the severity of its disease. Ostentation or riya is when the heart, the qalb, harbors an ulterior motive in its act of nearness to the divine. That is, one seeks a benefit from other than the divine through worship. Such benefit could be material or non-material, like status, prestige, and power. Ostentation uses faith for finite gain. It is the opposite of sincerity and truthfulness, ikhlas and siddq. It is termed the minor association to indicate its subtlety. The Messenger وسلم, stated that ostentation, riya, was the greatest thing that he feared for Muslims and that it was more imperceptible than the crawling of an ant. Ostentation has every relevance for our activism. As we have learned, there is no dichotomy between spirituality and activism. For the true Muslim activist, activism is a spiritual activity, an act of worship or ibadah, to draw nearer to the divine by living and projecting his names and attributes into the public realm. Any venture into the public space usually brings me face to face with the challenges of power, influence, acclaim, recognition, praise, leadership, resources, competition, agenda setting, networking, coalitions. And it is utterly inadequate to advise me to simply fix my intentions or be sincere, as though the act of continually reorienting to the divine in the face of such tremendous inner challenges could be accomplished by the reprise and repeat of a phrase. No, as we have seen, without a process of inner purification, tezkiah, the lower self, nafs, will simply imprint its own inclinations onto our heart and onto the will and resolve of our heart, without care and attention to the root causes of the nafs's attachments, I will get nowhere fast. Here the activist who genuinely wants to seek the divine cannot but pause in fear. The spiritual taint of ostentation nullifies or defiles good works because they are then directed to other than the divine. Whatever might be ventured, nothing is gained. I've only traveled backwards, away from the divine. What good is the sweat, blood and tears if, in the end, I have only ruined my soul and gained nothing of divine nearness? And this is far from being a call to non-action, as some might perceive it, 
or want to perceive it. It is rather a call to action. We have already established the importance and nobility of a spiritual activism. But we cannot afford to chart a path in our activism that does not grant an essential primacy and priority to the purification of ourselves, tezkiah, and the cultivation of beautiful character, akhlaq. In the end, the essential value of everything that we do, big or bantam, rests only on the answer to a single, simple question. Did my heart, did my qalb, do it truly for him? Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.